Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we deliver mining insights and bullion sales in the form of physical delivery, offshore depositories, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Joining us for a conversation is Judson Coulter, the CEO and director of Rover Metals. Mr. Coulter, welcome to the show, sir. Hey, I feel welcome. Uh, it's always good to be in the hot seat on Proven and Probable. <laughs> well, glad to have you back and Happy New Year to you, sir. We uh, brought you on today to provide us with an overview of some of the key milestones as we look back on the successes of 2020 and then take a look forward into 2021. Mr. Coulter, before we begin, for someone new to the story, who is Rover Metals and what is the value proposition the company presents to the market? Yeah, we are a precious metals mining company at the exploration stage. The value proposition is uh, we're about to bring our first resource as a mining company to the public markets sometime this year. And this is arguably the most uh, valuable time to invest in, in. If you look at the life cycle of a mining company investment, you know, you want to get in um, when, when the company is undervalued. And um, that's the value proposition that we're bringing this year. Last year was a banner year for Rover Metals. Sir, please provide current and prospective shareholders with some of the key milestones that Rover Metals accomplished in 2020. Well, we knew we had a winner up in northern Canada. I'm talking about the 60th parallel, so Northwest Territories in Canada, um, where we had a project, had lots of high-grade historical drilling back in the 1980s. And we just wanted to get to work and develop that project. And thankfully, in 2020, we were able to find the financing we needed. And we went in and not only did we rediscover, you know, some of the historical targets, but we doubled the length of any of the historical drill holes. And, you know, so, you know, one of the press releases we had in November was the results of that drill program where we had a 32 meter continuous high grade gold intercept, averaging 14 grams per ton. Now just think about 32 meters. Mm -hmm. Think how long that is. That, that hole started, there was only 15 meters of overburden. So that's basically at surface. Just think about that, the economics of that for a second. Let's uh, look at 2021. You finished the year with an important press release that I think maybe the market overlooked here. Walk us through it because it really exemplifies some of the business acumen of Rover Metals. Well, the goal for this project is, this is the Cabin Lake project that we just discussed. The goal for Cabin Lake, you know, is to do 70% of the annual expiration spend in the wintertime. And so the press release that you're referring to was the fact that we made an application to have ice road access off of the existing highway system. So that negates the need to use helicopter for expiration in the wintertime and really brings our cost down in terms of our expiration bang for our buck. So I think we're a couple of weeks away from getting that permit and that permit will be valid for the next uh, four to five years. Um, and um, again, our hope is, is, you know, this will be where the window sort of between January and April, where we do about 70% of our expiration work on this project each year. And any updates on the Uptown Gold Project? Right now, we've submitted a, an agreement with the Venture Exchange on which we trade and we're listed our primary exchange in Canada to sell 75% of that project to a new group. And our hope is, is that, you know, we will mentor and really work with that group in terms of the knowledge transfer of that project. And it, when they have success, we have success because, you know, we would like to really join venture with that uh, newly listed company um, as, as they continue to put um, dollars into the ground on the expiration. But, it, you know, really what it did to us was was able to offload about $1.5 million in current liabilities to another group um, and, you know, share in the, in the future success of that project on a non-dilutive basis as, as they pay for the expiration. Um, and then we have the right to acquire the remaining 25% interest in, in Uptown. And that project is right in Yellowknife, uh, close to where Newmont has optioned the Conmine claims to a competitor. Um, and we're on that Yellowknife gold belt where there's a lot of juniors uh, working away. Just to give you one comparable, Gold Mining Inc. recently uh, re released an inferred resource 
of a couple million ounces um, just north of us at the Discovery Project. So, um, yeah, um, that's that's the update for Uptown. Looking forward, what are the company's goals for 2021? 2021, there's, there's three sort of major focuses here. You know, the first one is immediately get in and pick up um, where we stopped in October on the drilling. You know, obviously great success, that program. And we've got 12 new targets, if you can believe that, based on the geochemistry, the correlation from the assays that we just got, um, understanding of the what's hosting this gold. Uh, it's primary gold uh, deposit. Uh, you know, we've got 12 more targets. The existing target, which is now what we're calling an ore shoot discovery, that needs to get tested at depth as well. Um, and so we're going to be in there hopefully in February mobilizing the site. So that's a huge goal of ours. We would like to bring uh, an inferred category resource to market by this summer on the Cabin Lake project. Uh, another goal we have is to go out and acquire another project. And so we're looking for something uh, a little bit further south so that uh, that'll be our really our our summer project. And um, so we're still active on the M&A side. And uh, just other, you know, other good news to share is, well, I think we'll be announcing shortly the closing of a million dollar financing at 10 cents. And that really, that money goes towards the mobilization here to Cap and Lake. And any other corporate goals past Q2 of 2021, you know, we're, you know, really just kind of chipping away at, at really the next six months. And I don't think, you know, much like, you know, lots of other juniors not really looking past the, the six month time frame. So we've covered the goals. What is the next unanswered question for Rover Middles? When can we expect a response and what will determine success? Well, I think it's, the the unanswered questions for us as Cabin Lake is there is there 12 new ore shoots on the project? I mean we have 12 additional targets. We've got one ore shoot. You know if it's you know every one kilometer along this 10 to 15 kilometer iron formation that we have, because if these things will pinch and swell, like you know do we have 10 ore shoots on this project? I mean there's a lot of blue sky here, and I think we just we want to know um, what it is, and we'll be there here and the next three months. Switching gears, Mr. Coulter, please provide us with an update on the capital structure for Rover Metals. So 77 million shares outstanding today, the million dollar financing that we're about to close off within the next week or so, that'll add another 10 million, so 87 million shares outstanding. What is the burn rate? Burn rate outside of expiration season is, you know, roughly you know, 40 to 50,000 a month. Uh, and, you know, obviously, you know, during, uh, during expiration season, much higher. So, you know, we'll, we're looking to do a two month program here from, you know, February to, to April timeframe. And we'll spend about two to 3 million uh, just on expiration here in this next quarter. And you somewhat alluded to it, but how is the treasury looking right now? Treasury's healthy. There's still money from the last financing last year. And, you know, the wires are already piling in here from the current financing. So we're in really good shape um, and able to execute on our goals. Judson, any final words for shareholders? Uh, no, I think we've covered it on this. You know, I think you know, you, this is a company certainly where there's going to be news coming in the next three months. I think a lot of other juniors and competitors um, are waiting for melt off and to get summer programs going. So we're ahead of the curve, and you know we'll be we'll be bringing assays to market here in in May timeframe. So that's an exciting opportunity right there, sir. What keeps you up at night that we don't know about? Oh, just you know, uh, that's a stumper of a question. You know, nothing right now. Actually, just things have been going really well in 2020, like you said. And I think uh, I'm sleeping pretty easily and this is fun. There's not a lot of stress in my life and uh, right now and everything's just really becoming fun. So not much, pretty much nothing keeps me up at night. I love the modest response because you and I correspond offline and I know you're very excited about the, the opportunity before us. So uh, <laughs> I'll have to pick on you when we get offline here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Last question. And that is, what did I forget to ask? 
Well, I think you're going to want to know where we're going to acquire our next project, but I couldn't tell you that right now. But I will say that we look at a new project every week and we're super picky. So when we do decide to announce a new acquisition, that, you know, it should be a goodie. Mr. Coulter, if investors want to get more information about Rover Metals, please share the contact information. I encourage you to visit our website, www.rovermetals.com. Mr. Coulter, thank you for joining us today. Wishing you and Rover Metals the absolute best, sir. Thanks so much, Maurice. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.